Well, as the investigation continues into the deadly shooting at Ingram High School, which took the life of a 17-year-old and left two other students behind bars, people are asking questions about increasing security on campus and others. Fox 13, Zach Anders learned today that lines are already being drawn when it comes to the role that police should play in the future. The tragedy at Ingram High School, voices across our region are asking what more can be done to keep students safe. Like retired officer Chris Sutherland, who believes SROs or student resource officers should make a return to our classrooms. First of all, it's, it's not about enforcement. And I think that's the biggest thing that people think that the police are all about. You're going to go into my school and you just want to arrest my child. Sutherland patrolled at Marysville Pilchuck and saw firsthand how the role and relationships made are vital. I went through six years there. Not one time did I have a use of force. Um, you know, I, I was able to diffuse things way better than... You know, a lot of these kids, they're not going to listen to a, a, a teacher tell them to stop fighting. I've spent six hours with a student before on a very minor, minimal um, incident. But you know what? That's what they needed. That's what the parents needed. That's what the staff needed. And, and I think that's what's lacking in the schools and, and the understanding from the public. But he also knows that even if a school has an SRO, tragedies will happen. He was part of the response in 2014 when five students were killed in the deadliest school shooting in our state's history. If they want to cause harm and that's their motive, then it can happen. Seattle schools removed their SROs in 2020, soon after the death of George Floyd and the protests that followed. A quick decision that happened during COVID and remote board meetings with not much input from parents. I feel the decision um, to remove um, the school resource and emphasis, office, emphasis officers was made in a knee-jerk fashion and made prematurely. I also don't think that the voice of the students and the families that have resource and emphasis officers in their schools were engaged in a meaningful way prior to the superintendent's decision. SPS Superintendent Dr. Brent Jones says the district will now conduct a security audit, create a community action team, and launch a child well-being council. Yet the district says there has not been any discussion about SROs or whether to bring them back. The question, though, is a non-starter for many students, even after this most recent tragedy. What I know, what I know is that the way that we're not going to be kept safe is with more police presence in schools. As we've seen, more police presence in schools only leads to more violence in schools. We do not need more violent police officers violently bullying and harassing students in school. And I know that is not very... Uh, politically governance correct of me to say, but I will never support any policing in schools. Sutherland thinks that's a mistake. I learned on my career that that relationship that you build, you, 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 you take this narrative and, and teach these kids, hey, not all police are bad. And I'm just showing you as one person, as one human being, police officer, to all these students when I was at Marysville Pilchuck that I'm a human being just like your parents, just like you. I'm here to help you and be on your side. Before that program was cut, Seattle schools had five SROs, one at Garfield High and four at the middle schools. Today, SPS and SPD said they have, quote, a strong working relationship and they keep working together on campus safety.